Hi, this is Mrs. Freifeld, and I want to help you understand what absolute value means. The absolute value of a number is the distance that number is from zero. You write the symbol for absolute value by making two straight lines on either side of the number, like this. These are the two straight lines, and that means what's the absolute value of 3. Here you have your two straight lines to symbolize the absolute values, and this means the absolute value of negative 3. Let's try some examples so you can see how easy this is. I want to find the absolute value of 3. To do this, I'm going to take this pointer and I'm going to put it on 3. And remember, the absolute value is the distance that number is from 0. So I'm going to count. There's 1, there's 2, and there's 3. The absolute value of 3 is 3. Now I'm going to try to find the absolute value of negative 5. I'm going to take a pointer and I'm going to put it on a number line. You may have to draw your number line. And now I'm going to find out the distance negative 5 is from 0. So I'm just going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So the absolute value of negative 5, it's 5. What's the absolute value of negative 2? I'm going to put the pointer on negative 2. And the absolute value means the distance the number is from 0. There's 1. There's 2. So the absolute value of negative 2, it's 2. Now I want to know what's the absolute value of 4. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on 4. And I'm going to count how far away it is from 0. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So the absolute value of 4 is 4. I want you to notice the absolute value is always a positive number because it's talking about the distance it is from 0. You would never say, I live negative 5 blocks from school. You say, I live 5 blocks from school. So if you're talking about a distance, the number is always going to be positive. Okay, the next thing I want to talk to you about is opposite numbers. Now you already know about opposite words. The opposite of good is bad. The opposite of black is white. The opposite of up is down. And the opposite of rich is poor. Opposite numbers are numbers that are the same distance from zero, but they're on opposite sides of the number line. They have the same absolute value. Let me show you. The opposite of 2 is negative 2. Well, let's check that out. Here's 2. Here's negative 2. Well, are they the same distance from 0? That's 2 away from 0. And that's 2 away from 0. So yes, they have the same absolute value. They're just on opposite sides of 0. One's on the positive side and one's on the negative side. The opposite of negative 4 is, you guessed it, 4. Let's put these dots on there. There's negative 4, and here's 4. 
They are on opposite sides of zero, and their absolute value is the same. One, one, two, three, four. So the absolute value of negative four is four. One, two, three, and four. The absolute value of four, again, is four. So they have the same absolute value, but they're on the opposite sides of zero. The opposite of one is negative one. The opposite of one is negative one. Can you see they both have the absolute value of one because they're both the distance of one away from zero? but they're on the opposite sides of zero. And one last try. The opposite of negative three is three. There's your negative three. And there's your three. They're both on the opposite side of zero, and they both have the absolute value of three. The absolute value of negative three is three. The absolute value of three is three. There you have it. A great place to practice this skill is on IXL.com. If you're my student, you have your own account. If not, you might consider seeing if you can get a membership. Either way, you go to sixth grade, practice M.4 and M.5. Good job.